What's up everybody, it is Thursday, May the 24th, 2018. So yesterday we had the three B bets where we went two and one. The only loss we have was the Oakland A's and they will be a C bet today. So if you did keep up with the three games yesterday, like I said, we did go two and one, but they were very exciting, the two wins that we had. The one, the first one we had was the Angels, who was up or were down three to one going into the top of the ninth. Had a big ninth inning where they put up four runs to go up five to three, and actually in the bottom of the ninth they did end up giving up a run, but they did get the win five to four. And in the bottom of the ninth, it was it was it was a nail biter to say the least because we had two on with no outs. We somehow got out of all of that with only scoring, letting them score one run. And we got the win five to four. In that two outs, or the three outs that they got, two of them came on one play. It was a double. It was a pop fly out to right field. Caught Curtis Granderson, tried to tag up on third and come home, and it was thrown out at home. So it was, like I said, it was really exciting as far as our side goes. Now, the other win was the Pirates, who actually jumped out in the head uh, four to zero early in the game, and then let the uh, red score run at the bottom of the inning, and then in the eighth inning, let them put up three to tie it up. And it took us all the way to the 12th inning to get the win five to four. So both of our wins were five to four. Our one loss was the A's who lost one to zero. That's two days in a row that the A's have actually lost by one run. And that forces us into the C bet. Now currently there is no line that I've seen on that game. And I will say this, whichever way you decide to play this, I really don't blame you. The way I'm going to play it is a lot more conservative, like I've been doing the last couple of weeks, where if it is a C-bet, you're looking to win the one unit, and that way if they win, you take a chunk back of what you lost in games A and B. But if you lose, you really haven't lost that much as far as the overall bankroll goals. Now, if you decide there's two other ways that I can see you doing this, or actually three other ways, the first one would be more than one unit today, but just not quite the chase. I get that. The other, or the next way, is to play for everything that you've lost, eight games A and B, but not a unit up. I kind of get that because you're trying to mitigate that loss, but at the same time, if you're going to go ahead and do that, why not go ahead and add the, front, the final unit on it to try to finish up in the chase? And then finally, is that chasing it just like we used to with all three games? Now, if you play that way, like I said, I do not blame you at all. That is a, obviously I set that up for a reason, and that's a good way to go. If they win, you you finish up four units on the week. If they lose, you've lost a little bit of a chunk. It's a C bet. The way that I'm doing it now, if we win, we take a portion of that losses back. If we lose, we don't lose near as much as far as the overall bankroll. So that's just kind of the way I'm doing it. Like I said, my way is very conservative on this as far as what I've changed to the last couple weeks. Hopefully either way they get the win and we move on, the ones of you playing, no matter which way you go. But if that, you know, besides that, we do have three four-game series starting today. All would be unofficial because remember, we don't do four-game series as far as the vlog goes. But that does mean that with only three of those, there's 12 three game series starting up tomorrow which is great for us because it's a lot of potential including two potential uh, revenge plays so I'm very excited about that now the four game series that are starting up today you've got Houston at the Indians currently Houston is at .533 and the Indians are at .494 you would obviously look at the Astros on the line and they are minus 130 so everything lines up it's just a four game series that's the only issue I have the next one is the Royals at the Rangers. Currently the Royals are at .435 and in the bottom three. The Rangers are at .492 on the RPI. So you look at the Rangers, unfortunately there is no line right now. So you'd have to look for that if you're interested in that. And last we have one that didn't make it and that was the Mets at the Brewers. It did not qualify as an unofficial play even with the RPI. So that is it for today. That's three unofficial four-game series starting up. We've got the one official C-bet that we have with the A's left over from the bet started on Tuesday. And then we look forward to tomorrow where we've got a lot of potential 
and you know even two revenge plays possible. So looking forward to that. It's going to be a good weekend, good Memorial Day weekend, and um, whatever you're doing this weekend, it'll be great for you. I just know it. So have a good Thursday. I will see you back in the morning. I do appreciate it, and see you then. 60% of the time, it works every time.